There's a book I recommend called The Bin Ladenans, An Arabian Family in the American Century by Steve Call. Uh, Steve Call is a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist. He's written several books. Ghost Wars was one of the famous ones. Um, this book is about the Bin Laden family, and it's interesting. It's got a lot of points that a lot of people aren't aware of. Uh, many people criticize those who have had business dealings with the Bin Ladens. Uh, that includes George Bush and, and also a recent Obama appointee, Charles Freeman. But very few people actually know anything about the Bin Laden family or their business enterprises. This book goes into a lot of detail, and it's very interesting. Basically, in summary, it's a very large, very important, very powerful family who did a lot of great things. Osama bin Laden is one member of that family. He has not been really active in the family for a long, long time and was pretty much disowned by the family uh, way back in the mid-90s, long before 9-11. Uh, he was also stripped of his citizenship by his country. The bin Laden family, it's well known, is very close with the government of Saudi Arabia and the royal family in Saudi Arabia. It's also very well known that Osama bin Laden, uh, one of his stated goals is to destroy the royal family. So clearly the ideology of the family and this one member are quite a bit different. A lot of the family members were very pro-American. Sadly, they had a lot of business interests in America, a lot of business partners and, and in many cases, unfairly, uh, they, they lost a lot of that after 9-11 after because of their unfortunate last name and because of, of uh, this person being the relative. Now, many of the family members never even met Osama. There's 20,000 family members. And so it's not fair, really, to uh, judge anyone who happens to have that last name uh, or even the people who did meet him many years ago. They can't help who their relative is uh, because because largely the, the family doesn't have anything to do with them and certainly doesn't support Osama's ideology. That's pretty evident in looking at what they have uh, done and accomplished. They've done a lot of great things in their country and uh, it's kind of almost like the American dream success story. The father, Mohammed bin Laden, was a poor Yemeni bricklayer working in Saudi Arabia. He worked for Aramco. He did such a great job that they put him in charge of foreman of a crew. He did such a great job at that that they kept promoting him. And then eventually they said, hey, you know what? We have a need for subcontractors. Why don't we go ahead and fund you? We'll buy you a truck or loan you the money for a truck or whatever. Why don't you go ahead and do your own little business? And he turned that little business into a huge construction empire. They repaired the damage uh, to uh, a from a fire in Jerusalem. They did all kinds of uh, incredible and, and positive construction projects, employ a lot of people, and, uh, and they continue this to this day. Their name has been very, very tarnished, and you can imagine what it would be like for the family members who had nothing to do with this relative, uh, Osama, and who were simply working hard at a big company, doing the best they could to do a good job, especially those in America. There was even one of them who was a realtor. I believe she lived in LA for something like 15 years. Her kids had been raised here. Um, pretty much an American by all uh, definitions and didn't have anything at all to do w with Osama, but because of her last name on 9-11, she was, she was uh, you know, really not welcome in, in America anymore. And it's counter to what we believe in. It's not something you hear. There isn't anybody who's out there actively defending the Bin Ladens, uh, certainly. But it's worth researching it, seeing who exactly is this family. And if someone has business ties with them, there's a very, very, very big difference between having business ties with a terrorist and having business ties with the Bin Laden family. Uh, the, the family is not terrorist. They're not on any terrorist watch list. They're not even accused of anything. They've been through numerous screens by our government, their own government. And certainly, if they had done wrongdoing, then uh, that would have come to light and the company wouldn't even exist now. But they do exist, and they probably don't get a fair shake in a lot of business deals uh, because of their their uh, their relative. But it's interesting anyway to learn more about the family and learn more about 
the, the country and learn more about Osama because he is covered in the book. He's, he is a, uh, a family member, unfortunately, for many of the, 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 the family, I'm sure. Um, but uh, it's, it's a very interesting book, and I'd recommend it. The Bin Ladens by Steve Call.